Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for being in this session today. Um, so to start off things, uh, I'd like to request everyone to just put good afternoon in the chat box. And salamat, Josh, Jan, Dian, Francis, Delwin, Vince, Clem, Neil, Timothy, Ethan. Yan. Thank you, thank you. So for those who want to, uh, Anna, thank you. For those who want to code along, uh, we'll be using the same project we were using last week. Tapos, um, you, you haven't checked out Neil. So let me bring up So although uh, I'll be coding and I'd advise people who want to code along to code the same things I'll be putting in, um, if you're trying this later on at your own pace, uh, if you go to Neo um, in the working with Android section, may recycler view na dun. So if you go there, uh, there's a short explanation of the recycler view as well as an example. Uh, and then you have a folder for the code. So, so aside from the objects that we used last week, the Kotlin classes we added, uh, we'll be adding two more Kotlin classes, see custom list adapter and then the user view holder. Uh, and then we'll be adding an extra layout, clistitem.xml. So out of all of those, the only thing that I'll be copying and pasting is this one, clistitem.xml. And I'll show you guys uh, why I won't be copying and pasting some of the code. So again, uh, thank you again for those who put in good afternoon. Uh, and a good afternoon to everyone also. Um, so let's get to this. Uh, before anything else, uh, we'll be looking at something called the Recycler View. Uh, it's a special control that that's main function is to display a list of information. So this comes from what we did last week where we made use of the built-in SQLite database in any device, whether it's Android or iOS. Uh, in our case, of course, it's Android. Um, so what we were doing last week was, and let me run the app again. Uh, so to refresh everyone. So this was our app last week. Uh, if I run this, or if I run this, Gradle to finish. What the heck? Okay. Uh, so give me a sec. This is a strange error. Uh, so when stuff, I don't know why it's saying DB sample dot R. Uh, oh, I know. Okay, I will just try to uh, 
uh, recompile this whole thing. Strange. Ah. I don't know what happened to that project. So let me open the proper one. Alright, so I'll just quickly recreate what we had from last week. I don't know where that project went, but um, so this shouldn't take long. Uh, so last week, uh, when we was working earlier, so I don't know what happened between when I opened it earlier and now. So what we did last week was to uh, make use of a lot of the stuff we used before and this time add to it uh, accessing SQLite. So SQLite is one of your options when you're trying to save data locally. The other one, of course, that we looked at before that was shared preferences. So depending on your data needs, you have a pick of either both of them, both of them, whether you use shared preferences or SQLite, normally can only be accessed by the app which created them. So, so what I'll do Yeah, I wonder if I still have it. Okay, so so although I I couldn't make the project run earlier. Uh, this is what we had at the end of class last week. We are able to enter a name and then an age value, add the data, 
Pray ka yet sa Ebeneski light and then we read. So now when we're reading this, um, we use of course, um, so first I'll add the layout or I'll copy and paste the layout for this one. So, I don't have to start from scratch. Uh, I'll paste our layout from last week. So, we had this layout. Uh, and then for uh, main activity, oh wait, before I do main activity, um, so I have to change the gradle. Uh, And then we, of course, added um, uh, two things. Uh, one is our model class, which is a Kotlin class called user. So the importance of the model class is not only does it define the fields for a user object, which we'll be using a lot in the application, but this also allows us to make manipulating lists easier. Uh, because what we do is when we have a lot of records, we throw it to a list of this type, okay, of that type user. So for user, so I won't, uh, I won't start from scratch. So we had this, it had three properties with uh, one, with one, constructor. I'll just turn this off. And so with one constructor that also defined the properties for the user object, namely ID, name, and age. And then we also had another class called uh, database helper. So the database helper class is what lets us make use of our database library for SQLite uh, rather easily. So instead of So every time you need to make use of SQLite, you need to have a database helper class so that you encapsulate all of the needed functionality. So I'll just quickly again get from uh, the source code. Again, I'm only doing this. Uh, I actually wanted to start with the project running, but again, for whatever reason, uh, the other one actually wasn't starting up. So, so we had this database helper and then we had user. User is our model class. Database helper uh, contains our logic for the database, including creation of the initial database in case there is none or bagong installed yung app. Um, insert and update are also here. So 
Um, and then, of course, the gradle change so that new binding is used. Uh, I'll, I'll rebuild this. Oh, and I forgot, of course, to add the stuff for main activity. Bye. So I'll just add And I forgot the variable for DD. And so more or less our app was this last week. Um, and then for read data, uh, we were just basically So we were basically getting the data from SQL and then uh, from SQLite and then adding it to a text. So uh, running the app. Thank you. 
Edwin's helper. Um, is... Okay, I will run this again. I forget. I so I forget this, and that's why Logcat is your friend. So I apologize for that. Still don't know why the previous project was not running. But anyway, I should be able to write now. And so so I'm able to write. Uh, I don't have the code for you for whatever reason. So so now we go to the point of the lecture today. So we want to be able to make use of a recycler view because the current app only uses a text field, which is fine if we're displaying um, if we're displaying just normal text. But a lot of times when you have a database app, you want to be able to have the flexibility to one. Um, display each record and then to, if possible, have a way to customize the look of each row. And so, kung gusto nyo merong ibang font or nakabold siya or ibang color, uh, there's a way for you to do it. And to do it, you need a recycler view. So, the recycler view, uh, which looks like this one, uh, still looks similar to what uh, we had last week, which was just a simple text with us. nag tayo ng line for every record. So the recycler view is different. A uh, recycler view is actually a collection of view holders. Uh, and the reason why it's called a recycler view is it only allocates memory for the records that are being displayed on the screen. So if I have more records than then it's viewable on the screen. Uh, all of those records will not be using up resources. Pero alam ni Recycler View, the moment you scroll up or down and expose a new record, uh, i-de-allocate niya yung dati and then use that memory for the one uh, that just popped up on screen. So a Recycler View um, 
needs a couple of other things to work. Uh, one is a view holder, uh, which defines uh, how your data will get to, to the controls on screen. And then you also need an adapter. So recycler views and view holders cannot directly talk to the database. So again, recycler view and view holders cannot talk directly to the database. So a metro baunon is the adapter. So the adapter talks to the database, gets data. Uh, adapter talks to the view holder. It tells view holder for every record that you display, ito dapat yung connection. So if I have a control called uh, LDL name, um, si view holder yung magsasabi kay adapter na for your name value, dito natin siya ilalagyan. And then the recycler view's main job is to just uh, show all of those items in a list. So, oops. And so every time you need to make use of recycler view, it sounds more complicated than it is. Uh, you need a set of data objects. You need an adapter so that you can connect to the controls on the screen. Uh, you need an extra XML file to describe how each row would look like. So ito should give everyone a clue uh, that if I wanted some funky custom look to each row of record, gagawa ka ng XML file for that, which we'll do uh, in a bit. So si view holder uh, copy, uh, connects the data to the XML and now we go back to our project. So since this is running already, although Siri uh, doesn't have its complete code, uh, I'll go back to so I'll go back to our layout. And right now our layout has this scroll view at the bottom, which forms its third section. Tapos sa loob ng scroll view is you have that text view, which contains the result of reading the data. So I'll get rid of all of those. So I only have two sections left, yung dalawang linear layout on top. The first one has the first three controls. The second linear layout contains only the, uh, contains only the button for reading. So wha what I'll do now is, I'll go to my palette and then we'll immediately see there's a recycler view there. I'll drag it to my screen and it automatically fills up with the recycler view. So you know the recycler view is there uh, because we have this um, uh, ang tawag dito? Uh, temporary list of items just so we have a visual cue na may recycler view nga sa area nito. So this now forms the third control inside the big linear layout. So yung una is this, and then this is the second control in the linear layout, and now we have a recycler view. So yung recycler view na yan, uh, I'll give it a name. So I'll call it RB data. And I'll run it I'll run this again just to be sure. And so when we're looking at it, while well, it's running, uh, wala pa yung recycler view because it doesn't contain anything. So it just doesn't really, it won't bother displaying itself. So wala siya ngayon, but it's there. And we'll put stuff there to make it show up. So yung ID lang is RB data. Uh, that's it for activity main.xml. So the next thing we'll do is I'll add a new layout. 
So right click on layout and then new layout resource file. Uh, so this layout will still use the naming convention for resources, which is uh, small letters only, words are separated by underscore, um, and that's it. So I'll call this list item of the XML. So we'll get this one, and I won't ask you guys to type that in. Though it, it's somewhat short. So this looks like this. So yan yung itsura niya, user ID, user A, user name. Okay, let me just correct that in the code. Ah, okay. Yung hint, yung text nila. Hindi lang napalitan yung isa. So, yan. So that's what we'll see, username, user age. So this should be okay. Again, this will represent one single line of information. So last week, we were able to create two of the main things that uh, apps with database normally need. So yung una is database helper. If I'm using SQL, I should be able to make use of objects from its library. So I think main object uh, for the database we're using. And then yung model class. So the model class again is important because it allows us to make a list of the defined object. So keep that in mind. Every time you're doing a database related app, there may be a need. Uh, to look closely at the model object. So sa atin, simple lang, it just has three attributes, ID, name, and age. Um, so, so this takes care, again, this item of how each row of record would look like. So dyan ngayon mapapas ko if some of you guys are getting an idea and going like, um, can I change the color of something or can I have rounded corners and the like? You can define that in the list item. So that's the first one that we need. The second one uh, is our view holder. So again, yung view holder, it's used to connect the controls. Uh, in this case, three text views to the code para pwede mo siyang ma-manipulate. So I'll create another Kotlin class and then I'll name this uh, Kotlin class as user view. So user uh, view holder. Uh, so this should be a Kotlin class. And it's pretty empty right now. Uh, if you have the code up from you, uh, you can make use of that. So what I'll do is I'll start typing in the code for uh, user view holder. So first we'll take care of the constructor uh, it needs an inflator of type layout uh, inflator. Uh, and then we also need to tell, uh, we also need to tell uh, user view holder where it will appear in the app. So normally it's parent. And then we make it part of the, oops, view uh, So inside this, um, import.
So I forgot the inheritance that uh, we also need for this one. Um, So, uh, in three, two, one, two, three. And so this is the complete uh, class signature uh, for this one. And that's the first variable we're going to define. Oops. Then yung second one. Uh, because we declared the other ones um, wala, nakalimata ko yung sasabihin it will come back to me so uh, I have to declare uh, variables that can make hold or that can hold information for the following items Then yung text view, kailangan kong import. So we have to initialize the view holder uh, by doing this. Item B that um, B by ID or that ID that So when we're initializing it, we're actually telling it which control will get that data later on. So UID, uh, U name. We'll change that. And so we associate them uh, with a control. And then when we're using data dip with them, they are bound. And you have to pass the parameter of your, or the name of your
I spotted an error here. So, so what this essentially is doing is, again, it's a view holder. Uh, I know. I, I need to refactor. Refactor. So when you need to rename something, you click refactor so that it renames all of the instances of this name. So capital H dapat kasi. So again, what user view holder does is to uh, create a class that will bridge this part. Uh, yung values na makukuha ko, paano ko malalaman na ilagay siya dun sa controls on my XML. So these are all controls in this item, item .xml. So that takes care of one of the items that we need to include. And then the other one is a custom list adapter. So same thing, new Kotlin class, tapos custom list adapter. So be very careful kasi merong um, library that contains the list adapter itself. So don't use that name, overwrite my existing one, at least for this project. So, so to make sure, I put the word custom here, and then I'll create the class too. And so that's a custom list adapter. And uh, what it does, it's actually just, uh, so I won't copy and paste this just to show you guys uh, umpisa niya. So it needs a constructor, which is basically a list of user objects. So val list. And it's actually a list object, except inside the list, uh, it contains a list of user objects. So, and so user. Tapos, uh, it will also inherit from recycler view uh, dot adapt adapter. Tapos yung yung gagamitin ng adapter is uh, user view holder. And so I was missing the open and close parentheses, but I still have an error. Uh, just like with anything where we do inheritance, uh, the parent class is now requiring this class to implement its abstract method. So when I get the light bulb and Still missing something. I did the user recycler view dot adapter user view holder. Okay. And so when we get to the red light bulb, I should have the option implement class members or implement members. 
And then when I click on that, I get these three functions. I'll select them all and click OK. So these three functions define what the list adapter does, whose job is to bridge uh, from the database to your app, or in this case, uh, recycler view to display information. So ang kumukuhan data talaga is the adapter. So I'll just remove these to-do items because they will uh, cause my app to hang. So yung una dyan is get item count. Because we have a list of users, the item count is just how many items are in that list. So what I'll do is I'll return a list dot size. So that when you're defining your own custom adapter, you always start with how you get the total number of items in the list or in the adapter. Tapos, for on create view holder, what it does is to initialize the user interface. So we need to inflate yung layout. Uh, layout inflator dot from because it has to know where it's coming from. Parent uh, context. And then we return that view. Holder. So the actual pairing up of the controls to the data that happens in user view holder. So user view holder inflator. And then for onbind view holder, when it needs to display a single record, see onbind view holder yung ginagamit ng method. So we just need a user object here so we can get the values from the list. And it will make use of the position when the value was obtained to get yung data niya. And then we have a folder uh, to bind the user, this user object uh, to, uh, to the application. Yeah, and very short, very quickly, we now have uh, an adapter. So now we'll, we'll, we'll want to make use of it before I add the extra code to it. Okay, what's happening? Ah, okay. I don't know. Wait, that's strange. Ah, that's it. And so now there's data there, uh, and then my app runs. So all of the stuff I added, the custom list adapter, the user view holder, uh, worked so far. So now to, to see that they actually work, I'll go back to main activity. What the heck? So strange. 
nag-deploy na siya ng app. So, ngayon sinasabi niya merong error. Right? So, now it's gone. Huh. So, for main activity, I'll add the following lines of code. So, uh, display oops. Um, So we're going to display um, whatever data we have in the database. So we'll get a variable called data and then uh, use the database to read data. And again, that's why you want the database helper. So it makes things like this easier. And then uh, when you're using the recycler view, uh, it needs two things. One you need to tell it an itsura nung list niya. In this case, we'll just want the list as a normal list na one after the other. And because we're using view binding, I can just call the binding object and then call a recycler view called RV data. And then set its layout manager. So si layout manager, marami yan. Uh, one of the more useful ones is Linear Layout Manager. And it just has to know the application context. So, yan yung first thing. Um, recycler views always need to be told how their rows will look. So, in this case, linear siya, one after the other. The other thing it has to know is where it's getting its data. So, the recycler view has to get that data from somewhere. adapter because again the recycler view cannot talk directly to the database it needs an adapter so now we can do this custom list adapter and assign the data to it okay so two lines and i'll run it again So now you'll see that when I launch this, meron na siyang laman from all the data I was writing. And then you'll also notice uh, merong space in between these. Now, now you might be wondering, eh, sir, okay naman last week. Eh. So the whole point of using a recycler view and then having each of those view holders inside is because if I want to fool around with this, I want to change it for the for reason of aesthetics, I can go to list item dot xml and then and then I'll switch back to design for this. So there's more space. Uh, so for example, I want to make uh, user ages font, font, font uh, color uh, instead of black. Uh, going to some purple and then uh, make it bold and italicized so very quickly i can customize yung look no inagawa ko and then uh, since this is inside the linear layout i can change the background So I'll use that, and then I'll run this again. So recall that last week, that was just a text view control, and we were just adding text to it. Now, because we're using a recycler view, and the recycler view contains a list of view holders, ito yung mangyayari sa kanya. Okay, so for those who are wondering how people can customize yung itsura ng list nila or Shopee and Lazada can display a list of items and make it look good, it's because of something like this. Uh, questions, comments, 
clarifications. And I do apologize for the start. Again, I I do not know why why that original project uh, didn't work out. Questions, guys? Okay, so I'll add uh, one more thing uh, for this one. Um, so with with this one, we can actually uh, make it so that every time I add, because now if I need to, if I add data. Um, have to click on read para lang makita ko yung update dito. Now, if I go back to main activity, I can now uh, well, um, I can get this uh, and then put it after inserting the data. Uh, and then have this. So every time you bind uh, the adapter, it's similar to refreshing the data on the recycler view. And then I can also do that for the data. So I'll run it again. And so now if I add another one, I click add and then we see it there. And I'll add a few more. So the recycler view also comes with a scroll functionality in case the list of records goes beyond what's what's shown on the screen. It automatically has a scroll function. Uh, and since the assumption is you are on a phone, you don't see the scroll wheel anymore. Uh, or sorry, the scroll bars. Uh, you just use your thumb to scroll through. When you hit the lowest point of the or when you're scrolling down and you're at the topmost part, uh, you see that animation indicating that that's the topmost part. Same thing when you scroll up and you hit the lowest part of the list. I sure show up to you. And that, very quickly, is the recycler view. Um, in order for it to work, you need a bunch of other objects. But, and some of you might be thinking, sir, ang complicated naman yun. Uh, the complication, uh, the complication is needed if you want to make a flexible list for your application. So as you can see, 
from our example. Uh, not only do we have a list, I have a custom background for it. One of the fields is color purple. And if I want to change the look, I can just go back to the XML and do that here. If the, the size looks up or the spaces in between each record looks weird, then uh, you can also adjust that because you can adjust most of the things here. Uh, height, uh, content, ah, padding, padding, padding. And so yung padding, that's the space from these controls to the edge. So if I wanted to change the padding, I'll change this to 2 dp. You'll notice it becomes narrower. And if I run this again, so yan ay nitsura niya. And I can I mean, the animation is still there, but yan ay nitsura niya. Alright, guys? Questions, comments, clarifications? So, for those who want to review this um, as usual, and I apologize for last time, um, I thought na-upload ko na yung video, hindi pa pala. But for this one, as soon as it's available, I will upload it and and link it in Neo so you guys can review it. So for those who want to review it, the code is in Neo already. Just check yung section for uh, recycler view. And yeah, that's it for me this week. Uh, we have one more week of lecture and then finals. Now I'll be posting the details for the finals um, by Saturday, so you guys can start working on it. Uh, other than that, thank you for joining me today. And, you know, stay safe. Enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy the weekend. And I'll see you guys all again next week. All right? If you have no more questions, you can log off and enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, go ahead, Timothy. Timothy, go ahead. All right. Thanks, guys. Happy weekend.